what up i have a dilemma let's try and figure it out so i have a bunch of 100 watt panels i got the yargo right here the ecosonic i got the renergy black star edition <laughs> it's black label shoot i got the big blue I got that uh Alicante. i even have a rock pals one up here that the wind blew off but as you can see we all shaded out forgive the wind please and then look at my situation in my front yard so what i have here is a 50 watt renergy panel my og panel my son mainly uses this and i also got a renergy 50 watt flex folding panel not flex folding but i got an idea i have this renergy flex panel that's been just been sitting down here so i'm gonna grab this up so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take one of these cables off of here one of these cables i believe is i thought it was very long actually that one is somewhere else okay i have this short little wire extension and it's to an eight millimeter i need 5521 and i'll tell you why that Eliconta panel right there dead ends at 5521 it had one of the coolest accessories that came with it which was a female 5521 to what is this anderson xt60 and 8020 which is not 7909 it's the new Jackery style connection. So that's why I want 5521. But the cable that I'm looking for is actually right here. And it's this Renergy cable. It's like a 5521 to MC4 and it's mad long. But I'm using it, so I can't use that. That kills that plan. So I gotta figure out another 5521 um, to MC4 situation which I'm gonna just steal it off of the original panel like I wanted to. Now, the good thing about this panel is that um, it's a flex panel and the flex panels, in my opinion, and in my experience, have lasted for years. I've had the things out in, in anything <laughs> and they've been fine. They've been like kind of submerged in water. Now the wires themselves are typically more protected, but the panels themselves have been in the elements. I've had that Renergy flex panel for at least like two, three years and for a long time, it was out all season, summer, winter, snow, rain, flood, whatever it was, it was fine. So, you know, this is what it is. I still have to tell you why this panel is gonna be a good fit for out here. I'll see if I can demonstrate this. The whole goal here is to be able to grab this when I'm done with it and be able to slide it right up under here. There's a little slab under here that could be inhibiting my ability to do it, but you get the point. So I can have a 100 watt panel up here. Don't have to worry about deploying these 50 watts. Probably get the same amount of power even when I angle those that I would get off of this 100 watt just off of GP. Now I grabbed my Energizer. It is not the best power station for solar. Um, it maxes out at 60, but this ain't gonna produce anything more than that laying flat anyway. Sun just came back out, 32, 30, 27. So it has me to wondering how much would I get from this panel right here on an angle? Let's find out. All right, that's the sun. Got a little cloud around it. Clouds are fading, but about to be passing over in a second. So we'll give it a minute and then we'll switch them out, compare them. So getting 30 on the Renergy joint. Let's unplug it and plug this in. It gets five. Oh, wow, 40. It gets 40 watts. <laughs> Maybe this is just a better situation. So I did all that for nothing. Not really, because it's still a panel I can deploy to get more power. But the good thing about this one right here is that even though it's flexible, I can still lean it up against something like my little bin over there or my kid's toy thing over there. So I do have options for this deploy. And worst case is extra solar. You know what I mean? Even if it only gets about 30, 25 watts in these conditions, I can store it under here run the wire up here just out of the rain and stuff like that or even just tuck the wire under which should be fine as well and what that does for me over here is i could just leave these panels back here and i got an alternative in the front instead of trying to grab this and the wire and bring it out to the front i typically take this one because it's not as long so i could grab it by one end and just hold it up and drag it to the front I'm grabbing the wire and stuff like that so this guy why you got beef with me? You like, <laughs> okay. And to be honest with y'all, y'all know I get down. I could probably take this one out to the front as well. I usually don't move this one too much, but I move it sometimes. 
I never move those. Even though the big blue, this one would be an easier one to take out to the front and then deploy because it's a bifold. Quad fold is annoying. It's annoying when you want to move it. But bonus, let me walk with me. Footage is a little whack. I actually got a hundred watt folding shade stopper joint. Video's coming on that soon. So I actually went and got my all powers. I'm going to pop in the uh, XT60 and then we'll use the female to get some power into that. Now this one is at 91%. Uh, it don't need much, but I feel like I'll, because it's out here, I'll just top it off. Sun is a little rinky dink, but I'll take this a little bit of power. Cause why not? But that's what I'm into, thought I'd share it with y'all. 